Hi, my name is Kathy. Um, I'm an upcoming first year at Harvard College, and I'll be asking you questions. So cool. All right. I'm gonna uh, introduce uh, you uh, guys when you ask your questions. So first, what's your question? By the way, uh, what is 55 times 20? Okay, 55 times 20 should be relatively easy. So 55 times 2 is 110. So it should just be 1,100. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay. Woo! Can I ask one? Three pairs of pajamas. One, two, and three. And here we have a pile of four sets of two pajamas. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now what happens when you add is you combine them together. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Do we do multis into addition? Well, if you recall your normal addition facts, where you add uh, all of the numbers from one to nine together, so you should by now recall all of your regular addition facts. Like, for example, two plus nine is 11, seven plus six is 13, nine plus nine is 18, so on and so forth. So, that's what we're going to need today. Because multi-digit addition deals with adding numbers that have multiple digits. So let's start with this example. And it's going to be pretty easy. Let's say we have the numbers 65 and 33. So... Let's add 65 and 33. Now, this might look tricky at first glance. Like, who's going to memorize this fact? But what we're going to need to do is put this 33 over here, below the 65. Now, we put the 33 in a way such that it lines up with the, the one place of the 33 lines up with the one place of the 65. This is how we do multi-digit addition because if we rearrange them, like for example this, this would be equivalent to adding 65 and 3, uh, 330, which isn't the same as 65 and 33. So we got to keep these aligned. Okay. Now, we're going to do this column by column or place by place. We have the ones place and the tens place. So in the ones place, we have five plus three. Now five plus three is obviously eight. And in the tens place, we have six and three. Adding them gives you nine. So boom, 65 and 33 and 98. simple. You just go column by column, right to left. So 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 1 plus 1, 2. I can actually explain the reason why this works. So this is equal to 100 plus 60 plus 2 in expanded form. We talked about place value in another video. Go check that out. This is 100 plus 30 plus 4. Now, these zeros don't really do anything when we add them, so we can essentially cut them out of the equation. So the 2 and 4 become 6. The 60 and 30 become, well, 6 plus 3 is 9, and then you add the 0. And then the 1 and 1 is 2, and you add the two zeros. 200 plus 90 plus 6, which is 296. All right, now let's do one that's a little more tricky. Why don't we do something like 272 and, uh, why don't we do 9, uh, okay, why don't we 
do 272 and 149. Okay. So, 2 plus 9. That's easy. We mentioned this earlier, in fact. It's 11. But wait a second. 11 is a two-digit number. So, this goes in the one place, and it's all fine and well. But, if this goes into the tenth place, where are we going to put the answer for seven and four? So, this is just going to be an extra addition to the ten. So, what we do is, we take the one, and we carry it up so that it can be added with these other ones before uh, these other numbers before going into the answer spot. So we don't have any sort of blockage or clot. So one plus seven plus four is, seven plus four is 11, plus one, 12. But oh no, 12 is another two digit number. Lucky for us, all we need to do is repeat the procedure and put the one in the hundreds place upwards. One plus two plus one is four, which is not a two digit number. So the answer to 272 plus 149 is 421. Now, let's try a final one to make sure you understand it. 9876 plus 6789. Let's go over everything we've learned today. We have the ones place adding up. Six plus nine is 15. And remember, since 15 is two digits, we take the second digit and put it up so that it can be added with the others. So one plus seven plus eight in the 10 spot is going to give us 16. So we once again take the 1, put it up. 1 plus 8 plus 7 is 16. We take the 1 and put it up. 1 plus 9 plus 6 is 16. But oh wait, there are no other things to add here. So we don't have to put the 1 up top because that's the only thing that will be in this spot. So, our final answer is 16,665.